is you made a wrong turn, Jack. You know I can help you straighten that out. And my end? What you do best. This year, when Electronic Arts first demoed the run at their E3 press conference, you could almost hear the air being sucked through teeth as the normal pedal to the metal chase was usurped by a flurry of on foot quick time events. After spending a few hours behind the wheel and cruising ever eastward, we can safely say that the run is still all about the drive. That's not to say that there isn't a story. There's a multi million dollar purse for whoever can get from the rolling hills of SF to the mean streets of NYC the fastest, and by any means necessary. That money might save your life as well, since you'll be taking on the role of Jack Rourke, expert driver and ower of debts to some MacGuffin mafia looking to collect. That's the impetus for driving like your life depends on it, sprinkled with a few dames and big explosions to keep that Michael Bay feel throughout. Getting from sea to shining sea takes place over 10 stages, each containing multiple legs of the total journey. After picking your starting car, you'll have to make it out of San Fran bullet style, losing cops, trading paint with other racers, and whatever else to make it to Vegas in the top 150 or be eliminated. Beelining to New York will take you through national forests rife with off-road shortcuts, as well as death valleys obscuring sandstorms. The general idea of finishing a race is replaced with eliminating other racers, making up time, and evading the good men of the highway patrol. Checkpoints and time limits give every heat a sense of urgency, though you do get a few do-overs with a rewind mechanic. The mini-map will reveal alternate routes, but don't get too adventurous off the pavement or you'll forfeit a rewind when you go out of bounds. Likewise, take too many hits and you'll have to try again. Though your licensed car can't take a lot of punishment, something the game doesn't hesitate to show off. There's even an in-race photo mode that lets you snap shots. The run has a pick up and play feel. Drafting takes some finesse at first, and you may need to make liberal use of the rewind feature as you get the hang of things, but soon passing rivals at 100 plus miles per hour or grabbing some air will feel like second nature, awarding experience points as well that let you level up to unlock cars and more. Simply ramming police barricades and fender bending your way to first place works, but can cost you speed and even XP. Pass someone without leaving a dent and be rewarded with more points. Blow by a few in rapid succession for an even bigger bonus. Knowing when to use your Nitro Boost is key. It regenerates slowly on its own, but can be boosted by foolhardy stunts like heading into oncoming traffic. Do well, and you're able to flaunt your greatness with the return of Auto Log, which lets all your friends know how much better you did on any particular segment. XP also comes into play during multiplayer, where placing and meeting certain goals result in an XP boot. We tried out two different modes, but both had an emphasis on finishing first. Everything is locked into the same tier of cars for the races, with randomized playlists of varying difficulty. Stick with your group for another go, and a roulette wheel comes on offering rewards for top performers, like profile items, to customize your look. The other mode only lets you use Need for Speed signature cars, so we took our green, unruly legend out for another circuit. And those quick time events? We've been playing for hours before another extended cutscene played out, this time in Vegas. Battling cops, seemingly rabid dogs, and dodging oncoming airbound semis seemed to be the norm. But before we knew it, we had to pick a new whip and get back to the competition against the remaining 150 or so drivers hell-bent on getting to New York City. Check back at Game Trailers in the coming weeks to see more of the run and get our final take with a full review.